In this review, we're going to be taking a close look at the 2007 and Dark of the Moon edition of the MPM KO Rescue Pioneer. These are both really good substitutes for the original MPM, especially if you want better paint. And the Dark of the Moon edition, I gotta tell you, is going to be the highlight of the show. What's up, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso Peterman here. Welcome back, one and all, to another episode of Teletran Reviews. That's right, we're back at it again for another one, and I'm really excited to showcase these guys, because these guys are absolutely beautiful. But before I do, I'd like to give a big shout-out to Shozy Store for providing these figures for review. If you guys would like to get any of these figures, they should be available at the time of recording this video, so go ahead and click the link in the description box below and check out these guys at Shozy Store and there's so much other figures you can get from them. Today we have the Rescue Pioneer. Now this is a terrific, terrific line of figures. These guys have done a really good job taking the original MPM Ratchet and remaking it pretty much with the same detail and transformation engineering as the original MPM, but it has the paint job and the paint scheme that is much more refined. It kind of looks like a custom version, except you don't have to do any of the work actually customizing it. So for the packaging, you've got Rescue Pioneer and you've got the heartbeat little icon there, 16 and up. Ayers, <laughs> uh, JHO1, it might be a different number for the uh, 07 version, this is the packaging for the Dark of the Moon, but it's the same exact packaging for both, uh, diecast metal transformation, you've got some numbers there, and it's the exact same thing on the other side, so it's very simple packaging, pretty much the icon and the name, Rescue Pioneer, so the packaging is pretty simple, I like it, it kind of feels like I'm buying like an ambulance type figure and that's exactly what I'm buying so that's it for the packaging I think we want to get to the main event which is to figure themselves by all means let's take a look at the 07 and Dark of the Moon version of the MPM KO Ratchet. And here we have the absolutely stellar KO MPM 11s. We've got the 07 film and the Dark of the Moon repaint. Both of these are absolutely terrific. Now I have actually owned all three of these figures. I've owned the original Hasbro MPM and of course both of these guys. And I've got to say hands down the original MPM did a great job with the engineering and pretty much gave these companies a good framework to work by when it comes to engineering and design. They didn't have to do pretty much anything when it came to that, but the paint job that these guys bring totally revamps completely this figure and really brings it to life and that's what I loved a lot about the third party uh, ratchets. They basically took the MPMs and made them so much better. So this is a close look at the 2007 uh, you know, the, the, the 07 original Transformers movie ratchet and it has the same yellowish uh, paint scheme as the original Hasbro. I wish I had that one to compare, but that one is long and gone. It's been replaced, but this guy looks just great. It looks terrific for a uh, 07 Ratchet. Like, it literally has the paint job and a lot of really nice, shiny uh, paint detailings. You can see that all the little detailings here in the legs. You can see it on some of the joints here. And then you've got some of that gray plastic. I don't know if it's plastic or actual paint, uh, but it could be the paint. It could be gray paint on it, but a lot of it looks really, really well. I have been really impressed by uh, the Rescue Pioneer lineup because Normally, from what I have seen, you know, with a lot of third-party figures, it's kind of a hit and miss. Sometimes you can get a third-party figure that doesn't have the best QC, and I actually own some that aren't the best QC. But surprisingly, with the Rescue Pioneer guys, 
the 07 and Dark of the Moon. They both have really good quality and the joints are nice and stiff. They don't have any like thin plastic that can easily break. It has a relatively similar feel than the original Hasbro MPM. Obviously the material in the plastic is not the exact same so you will feel a difference and you will feel a little bit of a reduction in quality when it comes to these guys but for individuals like me and there's a lot of people out there who don't actually need the best material as long as it has the best display presence so i i really like and and really appreciate the attention to detail that they've done with the paint job and that's why i choose these over the originals and this is the dark of the moon version which is my personal favorite it is literally like literally probably the best ratchet no 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 no, no. it is definitely the best transformable ratchet that we've ever gotten in history that's just my personal opinion because i prefer the dark of the moon design a lot of people prefer the 07 design so this ratchet would be for you and he looks great among the other npms but i gotta tell you this dark of the moon ratchet is unlike anything we've ever gotten before because when hasbro released theirs it was for the 07 film it was not for dark of the moon so we never got that green ambulance paint job like we get with this guy and when it comes to accessories uh, they both actually come with the same exact accessories except obviously with a different paint scheme so for this one here you've got uh, the same exact piece it's the same exact molded sculpted piece uh, you have the detailings you got the little blue paint there you've got nice uh, gray plastic there and you've got the big port it's pretty much the exact same as the uh, Hasbro MPM and there you go looks really really great and they apply to the figure the exact same. So these are basically replicas of the original Hasbro. And with regard to the Bucksaw, uh, we do actually have a difference here. Uh, the actual painting and the actual uh, structure of it, it looks like. So for the one that comes with the Dark of the Moon edition, uh, this guy actually has a shinier paint and a little silver peg in the middle to keep the saw uh, turning and keep it, you know, keep all of these pieces moving whereas on this one it is a more matte finish it's more matte and more uh is less shinier and you have a little dot instead of that silver piece it's kind of like a little dotted piece uh and, and it it connects the same way and it, it also spins um you've got one that's a little matte and one that's a little silver it is very 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 close so on camera as i look at it it doesn't even look like it's much of a difference you have to basically have them side by side to basically like be able to tell um but in person i can definitely see the difference this one's more shinier and this one's more matte and one of the more subtle differences but still a difference nonetheless with these two guys is in the little missile uh launching pod so with this guy uh with the 07 version you actually get one of these and it's the same as the hasbro edition it's got the little missiles it's you know it's got the little gray uh, detailing and it's got the little plastic and it's it's tiny it's a little peg you put it on his arm uh whereas with the dark of the moon version uh, i actually i don't know if this is just my model or if this is literally how all of them come but in my packaging i actually got a little packaging like this with two of them but there you go so this is the dark of the moon edition and then this is the 07 edition. It's the same exact piece, but except you get one extra for the Dark of the Moon. And to apply the accessories, it's actually the same exact uh, method as the original, but I'll show it anyway. You can bend the hand under just like that, and you just take the peg here and you match it with the peg on the arm, and it just kind of pegs in and snaps in and that's that's pretty much it that's that's all to it you just do that <laughs> and then obviously with this you can peg it into this peg uh this tiny one here and there should be another one on the side this one here you can peg it into i tend to love pegging it into the same arm with the blaster because it just makes the blaster arm look more full so it kind of fills in the gap a little bit and just kind of makes it look a little bit more robust of a blaster arm so he's like shooting out the actual blaster and there's like missiles shooting on the side of it. I like that look and I tend to use it a lot, but you can do whatever you decide with it. And then for the Bucksaw, it would be the same process. He's a really easy figure to handle, honestly. You just take the hand uh, and you can fold it under and then you just take, you take this piece and then you match it with the giant peg. And then it, this tiny piece will clip into the a little empty gap in here. Push it in like that. 
And that's pretty much all to it. You've got, is it snapped in or does it snap? Yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much it. I got them on the wrong arm. <laughs> I think this belongs there, but it's just a demonstration. It could actually be applied on either arm, so you can use your imagination. It's your figure. However you want to display it is however you want to display it. So we're going to go over the articulation for the uh, for this guy. It's probably the same thing as the MPM, but I'll go over it anyway. So his arm comes all the way up like this, and then it does rotate at the elbow and then the elbow does come to a nice bend and you know a ratchet you know he he likes to shoot with his uh with his arm bended like that and then you've got the hand you've got articulation in the hand it always comes all the way back up here nice claw and then you've got a, another joint kind of at the top of the finger the fingers don't individually articulate these three but you do have in individuals on the two thumbs he's got two thumbs <laughs> And then you've got that wrist swivel and then it does come down and it comes all the way back up so it does a really good job with articulation on the arm now to articulate this part of the arm i always try to move this out of the way it does go all the way around and you have to finesse this little piece here because this will get out of the way it does go all the way around uh if you just kind of maneuver it so it does work well that way this little piece kind of covers over like that, and it does peg into the shoulder. I just tend not to do it because it limits the actual articulation on the figure. Um, he does have a nice classic 07 and Dark of the Moon ratchet uh, swivel completely around the waist there. And then for the leg, the leg actually comes all the way out. Beautiful, beautiful, that, that, that's, so, that's nice. And then it comes all the way up, really high kick for ratchet and then it does come all the way back i mean this figure's got great articulation and then when you have it up there the knee does bend kind of sort of at a 90 it, it's almost there it might be there actually um and then you come bring it back down and then that does have a complete turn at the leg and then you've got a little pivot at the foot and i believe the foot is supposed to come down yeah now there you go so if you need to kind of put him on his toes do the michael jackson stand <laughs> you can do that um his head does articulate it does move all the way around so you've got the uh you got like the neck piece that kind of helps guide where his head is going to go but it can go completely around if you so decide you just have to kind of do this you know you've got to apply some force because you're basically turning the neck and you're turning this shoulder neck piece here and it does look up not too much and it doesn't look down very much at all so the uh, up and down is pretty bad <laughs> on this ratchet well that's with all of them uh, that's just how it was engineered but as a general rule the articulation on this guy is a big win and for some size comparisons we're just going to bring in a couple of other figures obviously they're the same size as the original i believe but we're just going to showcase what they look like so here he is with earthrise optimus prime which is a technically a leader but it's voyager scaled for the figure so it is uh, a nice decent size and then for something that would be taller than it i have the uh, vt uh, the visual toys lockdown. So this is uh, the unique toys uh, KO lockdown. And you've got the visual toy, so that looks really good. I like how they both look together. And uh, you can really recreate some nice scenes with Age of Extinction and Lockdown. And uh, if you have some of the 07 MPM figures like Ironhide or if you have Bumblebee, he would look great with the 07 figure as well. And here they are looking absolutely awesome in the paramedic ambulance uh, alt mode. This is the beautiful alt mode for the 07 film and Dark of the Moon. And this is where we begin to see where they contrast the most, where one caters to one film and the other caters to another. Turning to the 07 version, you got the nice uh, heartbeat uh, little icon there, search and rescue uh, fire department. And then you've got the little details just like the original MPM. And then you've got the icon there with the stripes 
looks really nice if you got the front bumper all of this pretty much resembles really well the original uh, version and you've got the same symmetrical on the other side turning to the back you've got the fire department search and rescue and the logo and in the little red ring there on the logo it says search and rescue across the top and fire department across the bottom so an overall general pretty uh, standard uh, terminology with the decals and everything looks and transforms the exact same. This is, however, <laughs> my favorite one because this is the dark of the moon. So this is actually an all new paint job to contrast apart from the Hasbro decals and painting. So these are completely uh, makeshift from the third party company. They don't really have a, a, a framework from an MPM figure itself to go by. So they actually had to do this uh, independently, but it looks terrific. I mean, you've got the E4. It looks great. It says, uh, it says fire de pas. Ultimate <laughs> logos looking good. It says search and rescue fire department with a different little icon uh, and it got the stripes still but that green looks nice that green and white stripes really really shows and I like how it has fire department on the actual hood and just all together looks really good. I like the actual headlights here versus the 07 version. You've got the blue uh, the blue uh, windshield and then you've got the darker kind of tinted windshield. And you can really see the changes here. Now, on this side, you don't really have anything, but you really get to see the differences in the decals and the paints and the designs. You don't really get to see the big changes made until you transform it. And uh, there you go. This is absolutely terrific. I'm a big Dark of the Moon biased person. Like, I am big on Dark of the Moon. And I loved the green, uh, you know, changes that they made to the ambulance. So I much prefer the Dark of the Moon version. But this version also, I mean, given the fact that this is... Uh, a revamped version of the original uh, you still get an upgrade by choosing uh, to go with this guy versus the original these are both better than the original in my view the weapon storage if you so decide to do so is the exact same so I'll demonstrate it you've got this blaster and it pegs into this here so you should be able to just uh, just kind of peg it on there and then you can come around to the back and then you can peg the uh, the this this buck saw here and then you just kind of clip it on to the bottom like like so then you just clip it on like that so you got some weapon storage there the original MPM does come with two missile blasters um, because you do have the two pegs a peg here and you have a peg here for the missile pods so I guess this one just didn't come with one maybe it was missing one by accident or intentionally it doesn't have it but the one that came with mine did not have the second missile pod because the Dark Moon version does have it, this one here, and the original Hasbro. But that's pretty much all for this review. Just wanted to show you guys both of these because these are both great options. Once again, thank you to Shieldsy Store for sporting this these figures for review. If you guys want to get both of these, you can get them at ShieldsyStore.com. I will leave a link of both. If it shows as out of stock at the moment, they do restock, and I've seen them restock a lot of times, so just keep your optics sharp. So that's pretty much all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and drop a comment below. What team are you on? What side do you choose? Are you Team 07 or Team Dark of the Moon? I think I've made it pretty clear which team I'm on. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is your Teletrain Reviewer, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Till all are one.